to the Art Space Penang. Welcome to Maritime Silk Road International Art Exhibition in conjunction with Dato Tai King Hawk's 80th birthday. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big clap to all of you. Thank you. So, we. Before we start the opening ceremony, we'd like to invite uh, Deputy Curator of Art Space Penang, Mr. Vincent Tai, to give a few words. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Vincent Tai. Uh, Dr. Tai was born in 1938. In 1982, he established Daiichi Electronics and Hut. He was uh, once called the father of Malaysia's loudspeaker manufacturing industry who bought in the technology from overseas and once became the largest loudspeaker manufacturer in Malaysia. In 1993, um, being the first local company in Malaysia, Daiichi Electronics went public and being listed on Bursa Malaysia's second, uh, second board, so and changed the name to holding company EG Industries Berhad. And then in the same time, in 1993, uh, he established SMT Technologies Sanjay Berhad now wholly owned by subsidiary of EG Industries Berhad. In 1993, he appointed group uh, executive chairman of EG Industries Berhad. And in 1998, uh, he established gallery Sunny Lucas Modern Daiichi, currently being active in uh, promoting arts and culture. In 2002, he was the recipient of SMI Achievers Recognition Award from YB Dato Chua Jui Meng. In 2008, he established Thailand Plan, SMT Industries, wholly owned subsidiary of uh, EG Industries Berhad. And in 2009, uh, Dr. Tai won the SME and SMI Worldwide Network Manufacturer of the Year. And in, uh, in the same year, award recipient from Dr. Sri Mukris Bin Chun Dato Mahathir, the Beauty Ministry of International Trade and Ministry, uh, of the, and also the Menteri Bersa, Chief Minister of State of Kedah. In 2014, he retired from EG Industries Berhad, Executive Chairman. In 2015, he re was received Macmillan Woods Global Awards 2015, Highest Category Lifetime Achievement Award. In the same year, he received the International Academy of Kindness Award in recognition for supporting and promoting cultural development between Malaysia and Russia which was handed over by uh, gallery, uh, Gregory Potosky, the artist, sculptor, and also the, 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 Fred, the ambassador uh, culture of Russia. Uh, in uh, 2016, Dato Tai was conferred the SDK carry the Dato during His Excellency Kedah Sotan, 88th birthday, more than 30 years of serving manufacturing industries and giving job opportunities to thousands of Kedah families. So 2003, uh, he, hosted the, he hosted the art exhibition uh, modern, uh, to mo uh, sorry, Tradition to Modernity International Art Exhibition, which was officiated by our Kedah Sultan. Uh, at the time, uh, Dato Naji was also, and also together with uh, Mr. Lee Kai was also around, and so many artists around. In June 2009, which is one of the uh, most uh, achievement, is uh, uh, Daiichi Modern Art Gallery co-organized Mosaics of Malaysia, Chang Chou's exhibition uh, with uh, National Visual Art Gallery. So it was officiated by the tourism minister, Ng Yen Yen, at the time. 2010, SME and SMI Worldwide Network Manufacturer of the Year, awarded by the Chief Minister of Kedah, Dr. Sri Mukris. 2014, uh, we hosted our first international art camp exhibition, which was officiated by Dr. Haji Mohamed Ravi. 2014, international art camp exhibition. This is a Semaling uh, tourism festival. Uh, all the artists went up to the stage and, uh, and greet hand with the chief minister of Kedah at the time. This is a management photo uh, with uh, SMT Technologies. 
And uh, 2015, Macmillan's uh, Woods Global Awards 2015 Highest Category Lifetime Achievement Award. Macmillan is a worldwide uh, consulting company, uh, I mean, and auditing. So this is a 2015 International Academy of Kindness Award in recognition for supporting, promoting cultural development between Malaysia and Russia. Presented by International Academy of Kindness President, Mr. Gregory Potoski, who is also a participating artist of this show at the Russian Center of Science and Culture in Malaysia. 2015 International Art Exhibition and uh, 17 of February 2016 being conferred DSTK during His Excellency Secret Sotan Kedah birthday. And uh, last year, uh, February, we had a big event here at Daichi Art Space, a grand opening officiated by Chief Minister of Penang. And last year also, uh, in uh, July, we hosted a uh, second Malaysia International Art Biennale. Many of you are, have been here also. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the, our founder and chairman of Daichi Modern Art Gallery, uh, Dato Tai Kek Ho to have a welcome speech. Thank you very much. Today, I'm very happy. First, I want to most welcome all the artists came from different country, six country of artists. Come to here to join the, this great exhibition, as well as in conjunction with my 80 years birthday. Among those artists, I want to thank most important artist, Mr. Chang Chou. Almost 20 years ago, he came to Malaysia for the first exhibition in our Sungai Petani branch, uh, Daichi Modern Art Gallery. At the same time, a group of them also exhibition in Penang. Uh, university. Anyhow, most of them are my old friend. And also, this few years, I make also a lot of new friends. I'm the one in this very keen and very serious about art. Today I am most happy is in my life, all the time with me, I, with the art. I enjoy art. I feel very happy all around, every day. I wake up most of the time, 5 o'clock in the morning, I work in until 10.30, then I sleep in. The whole day, I spend all my time for art. I enjoy art, I clean the art, I replace the art, I store it well, I do everything. Because uh, art makes me happy all the time, and from now onward, I will enjoy every day. Every day, I enjoy art. That's why I have a lot of friends all over the world. I always visit them. Just a phone call, I will fly over. So now, a lot of old, my old friends, they scared to inform me because they, they all thinking I'm old. We will travel if I attend something wrong in the, in the way. But for me, I still feel I am still young. Because uh, the energy I came from art. Yeah. Sometimes I argue with my friend, 
because uh, they, he, they promised to bring me to Xinjiang, to, to Tibet all the time, but because he's scared, I'm old man, because uh, my health cannot afford for the pressure or whatever. I tell them, I am more stronger than you. That's why today I want to classify to all of you. No hesitation. If you want to go to anywhere, I will accompany you. <laughs> That's because why now I'm 80, I still I feel quite strong. And then I enjoy art. Because uh, everybody you know, art is very important. Every day we in touch with us. Our decoration in our bedroom, in our hall, in our office, all must be art. Because that makes you feel happy, very artistic, and then you stay there, you feel very warm, very freedom. And then most important thing is he make you feel you are proud to be a master in that house or in that office or in that company because you love art and then you feel no trouble. You can solve the trouble every day because you are happy to facing all the time happen all the difficult happen in, in, your, in your life. So I hope everybody follow me. Go into art. And then you feel very good and young and also that is a very good investment. And then that can make you enjoy yourself. Also let many people enjoy all the time. You become a really gentleman, really culture businessman. We, what we Chinese say, we are zhou sang. Zhou sang that means we are full of knowledge. You know, we are gentlemen. Ah, we can do anything. Uh, anyhow, everybody join me. Not also make ourselves ha happy and healthy. Also, most important is we will increase our investment. Because uh, art actually is the most important and very serious good item for investment. My experience, I tell you, a lot of them now is over 10 million, one piece. And then 20, 30 years ago, I bought only 20,000, 30,000. So now is a good time because we die all the time. We encourage people, we encourage all the good artists came from all over the world. They come here to exhibit and then to show their real, genuine artwork. And then also can be a fair price uh, for you people to choose to enjoy and then to take it back home. That is a good investment. Rather than uh, you spend money for nightclub, you spend money to do whatever, go to Gintin, all these things, you can lose money. Only you enjoy art. Not only can save, make you very good in your life, at the same time, you know, after 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, you pass away, your family, your grand grandson, 
Oh, my great grandfather, uh, very good. He let me have a lot of this uh, valuable artwork. That's very important. Anyhow, thank you very much for your attendance. Chingbanchiu, 的起因就是因为我是搞工业了以后吃饱饭以后喝酒那时候那一刻的那种时光引我一生难忘所以我回来他们我们也不输于人所以中国画家有来到吉隆坡展览当初我们要看画很辛苦我们是好像兄弟这样子他给我很多的指导家徒家里什么都有不要客气 
m r Dai， 你怎么懂的这个？我说我也不懂，其实一点都不懂。我中学毕业，也没有去上大学。我的同学许月清他们，他们都都是留外国大学回来，而我本身刚好考上澳洲大学。结果我父亲癌症死掉，我没有办法去，而我是比较大的儿，所以要谈起家庭，所以一一路奋斗到现在，小有成就。所以我认为说，艺术这类啊，可以跟大家共享。我们这里办的一些发展都是非常有水准的。会越来越严格，后来会越来越好。你们有空的时候，也不用急着买，来多看，多看多看，看了有一天你会发觉到，哎呦，这张画我看了啊，莫名其妙感觉很激动，哇，好像好像非把它要回来不可，那你就买，不管它多少钱。这个就是好话。我讲一个小故事给你们听。冰城人的前辈很多人都是小的，啊，也是十多二十年前，啊，在冰城发展的时候，哎，我去剪彩了以后，哎，看看，那个香港的呃，中国香港的大大画商，哎。来冰城展览，来冰城展览的时候嘛，他们就老虎，他画彭大中画老虎最出名的，我去参观。从那一天第一天开幕以后，我就一直想要要那幅画，不过太贵了，百多千了。那时候要买两。两套房子，所以买不下。到最后那一刻，感动了我，因为他这个是老虎啊。为什么？我感我自己的感觉就是，他就是一个，看是,是好像一只猫，很温顺就在那边，吃饱饭在那边休息，舌头在外面舔舔一下，很悠闲。很人性化，从这一点呢，我看了，愁患不施啊，回来不能够工作、啊，每天下午三四呃四点多我就跑去冰城看，看了一个，最后一天，郭浩满问我老先生你喜欢这这幅画，我说非常喜欢，不过太贵了，十多万了，哎呦。他说：“老先生，你喜欢你就拿，你出个价钱。”我一下子讲：“解套啊，解套，解套就是说一百千咯，十万块咯。”哦，他说：“不行不行，你多给我四千块，一百零四千。”我一下子想：“哎，我已经出了，出到十万了，何何何何何差那个四千块？”所以那四千块我就给他，给了我就马上把那个画马上就刚走了。其实啊，我是很幸运的，因为有大财团的啊，你像啊，现在认识他的这个他的他的祖父啊，他是谁啊？他们亿万亿万富翁啊。他也是出价，他已经出到七万、七万多块、八万块了，哎，所以我就马上要买下来，哇，非常舒服，回去也可以睡大大觉，啊，这张画现在最少都是千万以上，两三年、三四年前他们。拿满箱的钞票过来，现金要购买。我说对不起
，这个是我的精神的结晶点，因为我本身属老虎，我很喜欢老虎，我家里有很多老虎。不过这只老虎嘛，是我的心血啊，是我的传家宝，我不卖的。你再高的价钱我也不卖，因为我属老虎嘛，我要谢老虎啊。因为你不给我当做猫啊，我还是一个老虎啊，对，所以我就，哎，留留到现在，而且是对的，因为这只老虎在整部画册里面最好的一张，这个是发于自己内心的喜爱，所以你们多看的话，多欣赏，多看，因为这个色彩五颜六色，色彩艺术啊，这对我们眼睛非常的好。所以你们慢慢享受，慢享，因为所有作品啊，都是艺术家的的这个精神的的表现，他一个符号而已，他怎么样表现那幅画，他有意思的，他有内涵，而内涵的话，就是我们中国画最高境界。你国画，我画的很像，哦，一个房子就房子，一个树木就不一只狗就狗，一只猫就猫。而我们中国人的画画，它又有隐藏一种思维思想在里面，所以它的价值连成。好了，不多讲了，希望我们共同分享，谢谢。OK， I would like to say thank you to Dato Tai Kek Ho. The founder of Daiichi Modern Art Gallery and Daiichi Art Space. All right. So, through this, Matlis would like to invite Yang Di Petuo, Angkatan Pelukis Kedah, Wake Malaysia, Tuan Haji Judin Ahmad, untuk beri sikit ucapan. Dipersilakan. Uh, saya merupakan uh, Residen Angkatan Pulukis Kedah Satu sebuah satuan yang Berada di negeri Kedah Sejak 40 tahun yang lalu Dan kami mempunyai ahli yang ramai uh, Lebih kurang 160 orang Dan uh, kebanyakan pameran-pameran uh, Yang telah diadakan oleh uh, Datuk Tai Ken Hock Dengan Daichi Gallery uh, Kami tidak ketinggalan Setiap pameran kami ikut Walaupun tiga orang pelukis, empat orang pelukis Memang menyertai pameran bersama Datuk Tai Jadi uh, itulah uh, komitmen Angkatan Pelukis Kedah Dan juga pelukis-pelukis Negeri Kedah yang bukan menjadi ahli Yang terlibat dengan kami dalam sepanjang aktiviti Begitu juga dengan Daichi Gallery ini pun uh, Pelukis-pelukis kami tidak ketinggalan Akan terus mengambil bahagian dalam pameran-pameran seterusnya Tetapi jadi saya yang paling uh, hebat sekali itu ialah Datuk Tai ini berasal daripada Kedah. Datuk Tai Kat Hock is from Kedah, North of Malaysia. He's a, a best collector in, in, in Malaysia now. So, thank you very much to Datuk Tai. Dan kami berharaplah dengan adanya Datuk Tai ini juga, saya rasa uh, kita akan menaikkan nama uh, or, or Kedah ini atau Negeri Utara ini dalam bidang seni. Jadi, harap uh, lepas ini kami akan turun menggelming tenaga Uh, pelukis-pelukis Kedah dan juga pelukis yang berasal di Kedah yang berada di seluruh Malaysia akan bersama dengan Datuk Tai di utara ini untuk menaikkan nama seni lukis di Malaysia jadi uh, pertama sekali uh, Datuk Tai ialah uh, is a great collector uh, a lot of uh, artists uh, from uh, Angkatan Pelukis Kedah has uh, uh, donate or uh, buy by uh, bought by uh, Datuk Tai uh, the painting so now uh, artists uh, can do Uh, painting or sculpture or drawing and uh, uh, we have an uh, exhibition at Daichi Gallery uh, now we have two uh, uh, gallery here in Penang in Kedah so uh, we hope that uh, Angkatan Bila Kedah will uh, produce a lot of work uh, and uh, use the Daichi Gallery to exhibit our art jadi pertama sekali saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada semua uh, pelukis-pelukis yang terlibat pada hari ini Uh, yang datang ke Pulau Pinang uh, semua yang berada di, di, di dalam pameran ini yang berasal daripada semua negeri-negeri yang di Malaysia dan juga di dunia uh, daripada Jepun, dari China Taiwan, 
dan uh, banyak lagi pelbagai yang ada. Diharap uh, semua akan terlibat dengan aktiviti-aktiviti yang akan diadakan oleh Daichi Gallery pada masa akan datang. Jadi uh, saya sekali lagi uh, dengan uh, uh, ulang tahun yang ke-80 uh, Datuk Tai. Jadi angkatan pelbagai dan juga semua pelbagai mengucapkan selamat uh, aktiviti seperti itu, uh, Mr. Tai Kat Hock. Okay, thank you. The next, we like to call uh, President of Federation of Art Society from Singapore, Mr. Stephen Leong Chun Hong, uh, to give a speech. Please welcome. A very good afternoon. With pleasure, firstly, I fully support and congratulations to Tai Chi, Modern Art Gallery, founding father, Tatung Tai Kek Hong, with his support of upgrade the Malaysia art, especially the North Malaysia of Penang, no doubt will promote the Penang and Sungai Petari art scenes. The Tai Chi Art Gallery opening, I think, uh, two years ago uh, because of international artist recognition and recommendation to many Asia countries. With uh, a lot of this uh, marvelous support from many countries. With his uh, energy, and also at the same time this year, he celebrate his uh, 80 years old birthday. No doubt will gain him more uh, healthy and also uh, reward as a pioneer in the uh, Malaysia to lead the Malaysian art scene more further ahead. Thank you once again for his effort to organize this exhibition and also uh, at the same time also the ASEAN artists will represent and also a lot of work will be uh, we look forward and to cooperate to each other and this year in uh, November also uh, the Federation Art Society also organized uh, the Asia Pacific exhibition with 24 countries in Singapore uh, so I hope uh, the artists and also those uh, pioneers uh, can uh, join us as uh, ASEAN country brothers. Everybody look forward to go ahead. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much to the President of Federation of Art Society from Singapore, Mr. Stephen Leong. Jinjin的各位来宾,女士们,先生们,大家下午好。呃,会上荣幸,呃,因戴先生的邀请参加今天这样的一个活动。呃,首先我代表所有参展的画家,祝贺今天的这个展览成功举办。另外,公主,戴
马来西亚华人的戴先生在推广中国文化艺术，尤其是中国绘画，真的是脚踏实地的做了很多很多的贡献。我想，呃，无论是我们曾经，呃，接受过戴先生帮助的。和正在接受戴先生帮助的，和戴先生一直在推广的，不管是怎么样的一些中国艺术家，都会有都会有这样的一个感受。作为一个海外华人，用自己辛苦创业的资金和精力来推广中国文化艺术，我觉得是一种使命，是一种责任，也是一个做华人的一个一个很善良的心。那么。这么多年来，我觉得戴先生不只是推广中国绘画，在东南亚一带，甚至欧洲一些艺术家的作品也在推广。非常高兴，戴先生具有这样一个国际化的视野，相信你能能够把第一现代美术馆和第一现代艺术空间做得更加好。我是一九九九年陪着关山月先生和刘伯苏先生来参加戴先生的第一现代美术馆的开馆。去年我也来参加了第一第一现代美术空间的开馆，我觉得这两个活动都让我很难忘。呃，最后再一次祝戴先生八十寿神，祝我们马来西亚第一现代美术馆和第一美术空间越办越好。谢谢大家。We'd like to invite our guests of honor to give a Opening speech, please welcome Professor Dato Dr. Muhammad Najib Ahmad Dawa. He is Director General of National Art Gallery Malaysia. Please welcome. Yang berbahagia Dato Tai, Dato Tai, dan yang berbahagia Datin. Uh, yang uh, dihormati Mr. Likai dan juga kepada uh, the family of Datuk Tai fellow artist dan uh, uh, para media yang berada pada hari ini first of all let me um, welcome to all the uh, foreign artists to Malaysia uh, let me officially uh, welcome you all to Penang so welcome to Penang and selamat datang I hope you all enjoy your stay in Penang and uh, I just hope that either you can get drunk or you can get full of stomach with nasi kanda and uh, Penang is always famous for nasi kanda and uh, I'm actually very delighted uh, I was uh, informed by Dr. Tai that I'm supposed to be here in Penang to appreciate the opening and uh, it so happens that uh, I didn't realize that it falls on the second day of Eid Mubarak, that is the second day of the uh, festival, of the Muslim festival of sacrifice, sacrifices. So I got to sacrifice my second day of the uh, Eid Mubarak, and I'm here in Penang to be with you all. So uh, this is part of the sacrifices that everybody uh, needs to sacrifice for certain events. And uh, first of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation to Datuk Tai, uh, Tai Kek Hock, the founder and chairman of uh, Daichi Modern Art Gallery and Daichi Art Space for inviting me to officiate this meaningful art event of his life. And uh, I would like to wish him uh, one day early, the 80th birthday for his uh, celebration. So happy birthday, Mr. Tai, one day early. Eh? <laughs> Hope you can wish them for tomorrow. And uh, you, I think uh, you've been introduced to, to us, Mr. Tai, by the slides uh, presentation today. And uh, my relationship with my Datuk Tai it goes back more than 18 years ago uh, with several projects that I used to work with him. And one of the biggest projects that we work is the uh, one week art camp in Kedah, where we bring in artists from Singapore, from Thailand, and also from China for one whole week we paint the whole of Kedah. So that's one of the biggest projects that we have. I think you have seen the photograph just now where that exhibition is being officiated by the Sultan of Kedah. So you can see uh, by his speech and also by the introduction that the Mr. Tai, Datuk Tai 
I'm confused because he's a Datuk now. I'm so used with Mr. Tai. So Datuk Tai involvement in the art. So his involvement in the art goes back many, many years. And uh, he sacrifices uh, a lot of time, dedicated, very much dedicated to art. And, um, and he's, like he said, a very strong man. Yes, he is very strong at the age of 70 years old. We used to travel from Penang straight to Phuket, a one day street, you know. So he's very strong and he can still carry canvas, you know, carry artwork for the artist to paint. So this is the kind of uh, Datuk Tai. Uh, a patron, a collector, a gallery owner, everything. He owns everything. So that's Datuk Tai. So he's very passionate with art and uh, at the age of 80 now, you can see uh, his mantle, his strength, still for the love of art. And he told us that he goes very long to 80 years old just because of his love is for art. And we just hope and wish uh, he got a long life so that he can still contribute to the art. So today, today I'm actually, I'm also part of Daichi, I'm also part of Penang, and, but today I'm officially from the National Art Gallery. And uh, the National Art Gallery has been working with Datu Tai. It goes back 2009 with one of the biggest exhibition of the collections of Datu Tai, uh, painted by an artist, Mr. Zhang Zhou from China, where he painted the landscape of Malaysia and we assembled it in an exhibition called Mosaics of Malaysia, Every State of Malaysia, just to promote the relationship between art and tourism, tourism art and tourism for art. So we're just hoping the inbound tourists that comes to Malaysia for art. This is in line with the idea that I'm pushing at the National Gallery about looking at art as an industry. How can we further uplift the industry in Malaysia in terms of art. As compared to our neighbors in Indonesia and Philippines, I think in terms of pricing, uh, we are far behind as compared to Singapore, Philippines or Indonesia. Because these countries in Southeast Asia, the demand for art is very great as compared to us in Malaysia. If we can have more people like Datuk Tai, then the demand for art in Malaysia will be great. So the idea about looking at art, the idea about looking at art in Malaysia as an asset rich, like what Dr. Tai was saying just now, if we can invest in art, the price of artwork will never go down as compared to uh, the shares. Where the price of shares sometimes depends on uh, what we call uh, depends on the people who buy and sell the shares. But in artwork, if we invest in art, believe me, it is very safe. But don't pray for the artist to die. Then the price will just jump. You know, don't pray for that. You know, we just pray so that the artist can still uh, uh, live a longer life. So we are, I'm looking at... I'm trying to push the idea of art as asset rich. And we are trying to train young artists who graduated from the university and colleges. We put them in at the National Gallery. We train them in terms of accounting. We had we train them in terms of bookkeeping, time management, and everything. So we are looking at artists, fresh graduate, looking at them as artpreneur, art artists as entrepreneur. So we, we just hope that there will be more professional approach in terms of uh, in the art. At the same time, the National Art Gallery is working closely with the private galleries all over. And soon, uh, we are setting up uh, a space, a gallery in Langkawi that we propose it to be the center of excellence for upskilling and reskilling of artists, gallery owners, and curators. So please uh, browse at our portal, visit our portal, then you can see more information on it. Hopefully, inshallah, God willing, we will launch it at the end of the year. And the other thing is that we just hope that. Uh, 
we just hope that in future in Malaysia, we just by by November this year, we are going to launch the Kuala Lumpur Art Biennale in November, where we'll be inviting uh, artists from Southeast Asia, plus uh, China, Japan, Korea, India, and also Malaysian artists based overseas. All those Malaysian artists based overseas, either in England, like uh, 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 there's one guy who stays in Scotland for many, many years, we are inviting him back. The same thing like artists in America, we are inviting them back. In Australia, we are inviting Malaysian artists back so that uh, we will mount an exhibition called Kuala Lumpur Binale, hopefully in November. But uh, going back to this event, it's actually it's a wonderful uh, uh, artwork which you can see all around on this floor and the, the lower stairs, uh, the lower lobby of artworks assembled from, uh, from artists all over Southeast Asia and also from China. And today we can see another big effort of uh, Datuk Tai in assembling the artwork. Jadi, uh, saya dengan uh, mengakhiri ucapan ini, dengan ini merasmikan the Maritime Silk Road International Art Exhibition in conjunction with Datuk Tai Kek Hawks 80th birthday. Thank you. Okay, the river coming. So, Maritime Silk Road International Art Exhibition in the conjunction with Tato Tai Kek Ho, 80th birthday, officially, uh, is it officially? Okay,